Hello, good viber. How are you doing? I'm going to take a moment to just spread my wings in the beginning and take some space to just be here. What is good, sweet Dolores? <laughs> I just wanted to take a little moment to introduce our co-host today, which is the co-author, or the author, the writer, of our upcoming book, Scared to Be a Butterfly, which is coming out soon. And you guys can, and I suggest that you make sure that we have your email so that we can let you know as soon as the link is live. With that being said, I'm just gonna invite my co-host on so that we can begin today's live vibe. <sighs> and without further ado, let's take a big breath. Good afternoon, everyone. Well, it's good to see you, Michael. Long time no see. Mm -hmm. It has been a long journey. And we have our author copies here. And I'm very excited because we're going to be, um, well, we're going to be talking about what it really means to spread your wings. I think when people see this, you know, you see the book and you see all the beautiful pages, it's so easy to get sucked up into this idea of, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh, incredible. It's literally spreading its own wings and flying away. Um, but we would often forget about that. Oh, okay, so where is it flying to? What's the direction? What's going on now? What what happens next? And so we wanted to share a little bit of our reflections from creating the book, some of the struggles and the reality of spreading your wings. You know, when you spread your wings, you're now opening the space, like you're taking up more space. And it's going to mean that you're gonna be faced with resistance. This could be external, internal. You're going to be faced with resistance, however that manifests for you. Um, because it's there to make you stronger, but you know nobody wants to hear that. Um, <laughs> it's going to test you. It's going to see, like, can you really, or do you really know how to fly? Where do you want to fly to? You know, what about the wind? A lot of more unfamiliar things are going to be thrown at you just because you become a butterfly that becomes, you know, able to have this freedom to fly and roam freely. It doesn't mean it doesn't have its own set of problems. But I think there's an important way to acknowledge how we navigate through the changes and the shifts and the tribulations that come our way. Um, and acknowledge them as part of the journey. Uh, but yeah, Michael, it is good to see you. And ah, talking about this, you know, what would you say is the biggest struggle um, with the book being created that, you know, maybe we, I wouldn't even know of, you know? Uh, well, a big question. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the you know, I, um, I guess actually the answer is, as a category, and it's still applicable, is that along the way, um, well, for me, I, I'll just, for me, so along the way, I wanted to quit. I didn't want to keep going. Uh, that's the most, so, so, and, and, that's for, for me, I think, the, the biggest challenge. So to be clear, I'm not saying that all the time. I'm saying along the way, you know, like you'll be just like you said, there'll be a, everything will be going smooth and good. And then you'll get to a point where you're like, at least for I, this is not really your personality, but me where I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to I don't want to do this. I don't want to be involved in this anymore. And when I get like that, you know, uh, it's very difficult for me personally, because as I've mentioned to you and some other people before, for me, there's a big element that's involved in, um, they call it like being in the spirit of the thing, giving yourself over to the thing. The thing that has always been my gift as a teacher, I would say is almost uh, energetic. That is to say like, uh, I have a lot of passion for teaching. So when I'm teaching, that comes out, right? And so like, that's how it, uh, th that's how it, that's the best way I work. And so, you know, trying to do it solely based on like a, a surface level is much more challenging. 
to just keep going if the if the feelings and the harmony you don't feel there yeah oh man and i think like when we get our wings whatever the struggles are that we have will amplify so it's not like they are resolved they amplify but what also happens is that we are more equipped to deal with whatever struggles or triggers we have and i'll share i think one of the bigger struggles i have um you know during the caterpillar phase is kind of going into my cocoon or not wanting to come out of my cocoon you know kind of shutting off and going in and um, not really responding and so when we open our wings we can we can kind of we have like this almost like bigger risk reward scenario it's like you have now a bigger opportunity to do the opposite like to publish the book which is a big one to grow like you said but also that risk of like quitting of you know withdrawing is also a bigger reality that we have to face and understand how to navigate through so spreading your wings is a beautiful thing. I think we can all agree. We see butterflies and birds and all of these flying things. And it's beautiful to see. <laughs> just like that, quite literally just like that, we often don't know what's going to happen when we're flying. You know, we are so familiar. And when we go into this unknown territory, it's like, what what is there and so right we did a lot this week in comparison to maybe some of the past weeks which we've always been you know working working uh but this week we got our proof you know we got our author copies in mm -hmm. and we were able to do the final edits we were able to set up you know we're waiting for it to be approved in amazon right now so like we did all of the work on our end for it to be out hopefully quite soon uh, with that being said tap the link in our bio if you want to reserve yours so that we can email you later today or or tomorrow you know whenever we are able to send the live link it's coming it's gonna be coming soon it, i think it took like 12 or like 18 like 12 hours for the first like feedback to come if it was improved or not so yeah we should have it in a couple hours god willing well, so yeah i'll just say i'll say two things actually um so one is just for the people who are interested in the process oh by the way sorry just want to send uh thanks and love to everybody who's here and especially to all the brethren i saw james isaiah abimelech um you know, uh, Isaiah. So just, yeah, thank you. Thank you all for uh, stopping by. Um, in terms of the metaphor that I think about, um, sorry, I said I was going to talk about the book thing first. So, okay. So in terms of the book thing, the, basically what you do once you have everything done is you hit approve. Now you, at this point in the process, you've gone, you, you've set up your book, you've taken the book and you've put it into Amazon and you've reviewed it according to the Amazon standards. Uh, which Amazon will tell you like, oh, this is too long. This is not, you know, um, your pages are outside of the margin, stuff like that. And you'll fix it. We did all of that. And then you send it. And then they say within 24 to 72 hours, we'll get back to you. Uh, so we sent it. The only thing we got a response back was that we needed to fix the cover a little bit. So everything else was fine. Uh, there was just a little bit of adjustment. That needed to be covered. So we did that in the early part of the day and sent it. And I'm actually pretty sure that before the end of the day, they'll probably send it back and be like, okay, you're approved. Um, yeah. Yeah. There's that part. And then just in terms of the metaphor, and I think this is maybe why the metaphor is good in, in various ways, because there's different ways you can think about it. I definitely can um, appreciate what you were talking about in terms of, right, it's almost like, once you get wings, there's this sense like, okay, oh, right, there's flying, right? There's the, mm. next, there's the next steps after that. Um, and, and I guess the way we all conduct ourselves spiritually, there's always like, uh, almost like ignoring that, like, oh, you know, like I'm still going to crawl on the ground even though I have wings. And that leads me, I guess, to how it is, how I perceive it, which... Um, Perhaps the most challenging part that I would talk about that is a, is, is a real spiritual issue is the issue of identity. So in other words, 
uh, like being born again, as it were, right? Like the caterpillar is born again as a different creature, right? It was a caterpillar. It's born again, literally. Um, it goes into that and it comes out as a different creature. And at that point, the metaphor is kind of like, okay, what are you now, right? Like the body has changed, the, the circumstance has changed, so it, like the mind has to change. And um, I, I guess it can be challenging if we're like, uh, you know, I'm a butterfly, but uh, I don't feel like it. Or, you know what I mean? Like um, there's a resistance to the identity. And I think that that identity is really the major issue of like, like I said, like how we, how we identify ourselves leads to all the other, so many other things, if that makes sense. You know, if I think of myself as, if I tend to think of myself as, you know, again, we mentioned this phrase last time. If you think you can or you think you can, you're correct. You know that phrase? Um, so how we believe about ourselves, what we believe is really the mechanism. You know, like, for example, if I get frustrated and I'm like, I can't do it, then I'm bringing that to life in my identity. Right? If I get frustrated and I'm like, I'm frustrated, but God made me a type of creature that can handle and grow from frustration. Right, that can soar above frustration, that can receive the light of the sun, and you know, uh, proceed and grow. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, good. it's interesting. As you were sharing, like in my mind, I was just thinking of how it's almost like we, on many levels, are we're caterpillars, cocoons, and butterflies. And when you mentioned identity, I think depending on what we're identifying with or as we'll see those different levels kind of playing like maybe mm, you know I'll just say with this book you know oh at first you know didn't think that we would be children book authors or you know uh, create this kind of book and then with that inner retreat and that inner like okay planning and getting it together just all of these different ways that our identity goes through that transformation that you're kind of describing um yeah, back with the idea of like spreading your wings on that part of the transformation. I think with our identity, it becomes something like almost like when you've been wanting your manifestation, you've been wanting something to happen for a very long time. Maybe like it's your life's work or something. And that manifestation comes true. And then you realize like, what am I supposed to do now? It's almost like um, it's very, very, it's, it's really interesting. Like, how you have to get so comfortable with being aware that okay um yeah you got what you wanted now you actually have to have to make like a new structure entirely um to sustain yourself so i think that's really something um that we wanted to talk about today and like we have been talking about in terms of this topic of well, we thought that this would be Sunshine and Rainbows publishing this book. And for the most part, don't get me wrong, it has been really good, beautiful process. Um, but there are some harder parts, you know, not sleepless nights, but we can call them sleepless nights and long yeah. sessions of just drawn out tribulations to get to a point where it's like, okay, we're here. Now what? And of course we have plans, you know, we're really excited to do the book warm workshop, which will be coming up and more information on that soon. Um, but it has been, again, we get so caught up with like the journey and the transformation and we got to get our wings and we got to like, we got to be the butterfly and, and fly around that when we are actually the butterfly and it's ready, it's time to fly around. It's like, okay, now we actually have to see where are we going? You know, we can lift our feet off the ground, but what is the ultimate goal or direction that we're going in? So that is important. And this book being a catalyst to assist and open eyes of that transformation and that change, I think it's really beautiful because in the last page we have, um, the two characters and they're kind of yeah. flying away and i think that this is really symbolic when you have your own um your own wings actually not they're not flying alone anymore but they're joining almost that inspiration mm -hmm. you know that that character 
And um, I think that's ultimately what we need to do, kind of ground ourselves in each other, if that makes sense. Um, when we are in this time of uncertainty, when you get your wings, when you get your manifestation, when you become your highest self, you need to ground with those people around you. So much love, Simmer, uh, Berlin. Thank you so much. For joining. Hello, Germany. And thank you, James. Appreciate that. Saw that comment. Appreciate it. Yeah, much love, James. We're excited for your kids to get to read it. God willing. Um, yeah. But yeah, for- there's definitely there's an aspect which is for me is a very spiritual aspect where for some reasons like uh well last week we were we were doing a bible study and we talked about like Jesus before he starts his ministry he went and goes into the uh desert for 40 days 40 being a, a number a, a you know numerically symbolizing trial right there's like that you know that pattern comes up over and over again and i guess you know and and what you're talking about i you know i'll i'll just i'll be fairly open about it. it's like you know I think we had our like okay everything's going to be done today and ready and like f- finding it frustrating that it's not um you know but it's almost like you get to that point where you're ready to fly and some part of you almost like the old part of you is like nah no like you know like it's trying to pull you back into the old way of being it's almost like the ultimate test before you fly you know i mean at least that's how a lot of my life is you know there's sometimes where things just go but sometimes you know things are going along and then there's this one point where there's a test you know and uh yeah trying to pass that test in terms of because what the the real point of a spiritual test is to show you yourself always there's, you know, that that's the one thing that's like, that can be challenging to remember. I know it's challenging to remember for me, you know, uh, and I think it's challenging for everybody. Like while you're going through it, like there's a reason you're going through it. There's something that's, you know, uh, the spirit is trying to show you about yourself or something that you need to overcome or in some way you need to con- still grow. I don't think these things happen by accident. But what hap- what the challenge is when we get caught up in our emotions, we're like, we give our attention to the wrong thing, right? Like instead of giving it to our thoughts, which has a divine element, right? And, and like, okay, and, and, and speaking from there, like, you know, I was talking with my mom, I said, I mentioned, and I bless her and I th- I'm so grateful for her. And, you know, I, I told her, I was like, oh, you know, like I feel down because we didn't get this, da, da, da. And, you know, she just was encouraging me to put my mind in the right place um, because, and she's absolutely right. Like, you know, what was really cute and funny is like, she said, this is what you would tell me, you know? And that's, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. I appreciate that, you know, because yeah, sometimes we need to hear those, those words and that encouragement back at us that we know they intellectually, but, you know, emotions challenge our intellect uh, a lot, but putting our mind into the right thing, you know, and when I used to teach, I used to say like, Ultimately, all you can, you can be upset, <laughs> but it's like running a race and then you fall down in the race for a second. And then are you going to be like, oh man, I fell down. Are you going to complain about that and stay there and let more people pass you? Or are you going to be like, okay, get up and keep going. And ultimately we all have to get up and keep going. That's what we got. That's the options. <laughs> you know, we can't stay on the floor forever. So hopefully that makes sense. Yeah, that unlocked a core childhood memory of when I used to run track and it was a rainy day. I slipped and fell, got back up and kept running. And they gave me a first place medal, which was a little overboard. But as a kid, I think that um, ultimately it kind of helped with that idea of like, you need to get up and, and continue what you started always, even if it does not go as planned, um, which I love when God does that always uh for a reason and i think that this book through its entirety of creation has been a big symbol of what we're trying to share in these lives of of the book itself and the story itself of what we've gone through in creating it like everything has come through in such a way where it's just 
showing us like, hey, pay attention, you know, um, you're in your cocoon right now, or, you know, it's time to spread those wings. And um, it has been encouraging, definitely. Like, I know that we're going to look back at these videos one day and these replays, and we're going to think, well, well, that's funny, you know, the struggles that we shared, and it's going to be something so far back from wherever we are, you know, whatever kind of butterflies we become in that stage. But this book is coming out, and it is coming mm-hmm. out soon. <laughs> so definitely, yeah. definitely, for the next two weeks, we're going to be running our pre-sale so that you can get this book. It's at a pre-sale price, so it's $15, and the sales price that we're going to have it after our little launch party, which you'll hear more about that soon, um, is going to be $18.88. So you definitely yeah. want to reserve yours so that you can hop on and get it as soon as it comes out. You know, one thing I'll say, I'll say about uh, the book itself, just from a technical thing, because people, um, we talked uh, with different people about like, hey you know, price points and different stuff like that. And uh, one of the things that I think I just want to note is that what we chose, it really was the, you know, the, the sort of major option, like the most clear option based on what Amazon offers you was to do it with premium color, you know, to make it a quality book, right? Like there's actually an option for less color, less, you know, not different type of paper and stuff like that. But yeah, we definitely tried to make it, you know, beautiful um, so you can, you know, really experience the colors and stuff like that. And I do think, you know, yeah, the book is a, is a, is a really powerful symbol, um, you know, especially for me coming back to that line right before the two butterflies take off together. It's kind of like the realization like, oh, I was born to fly. Right? I was born to fly, and that is a like that's a real that's a, that represents a real insight, right? A real change in mind, like a realization. Uh, it's kind of like realizing that um, I've I have said in spiritual meetings, like, oh, I I literally got a revelation at some point that my body is not who I am that there will be a me that will continue on after my body is go- returns to dust. And that mentality, right? It's like there's a shift in your mind, and now you see things differently. That's kind of how I see almost those last lines, right? Like you were born to fly. You are not a caterpillar. You're a different type of being. Mm. Yeah, this is... Oh, I'm now I'm like trying not to get sucked into the colors and the pretty pictures of the pages. But yes, like this has been quite a journey and it is still being, you know, it's still <laughs> in the making and it's still being done. But overall, I'm very thankful for the opportunity to create this book and the journey that it has provided and the experiences. I would definitely say that in terms of spreading wings as this book is taking off, um, you know, things pop up to kind of test it like you were sharing, Michael. And I think it's ultimately that kind of test to be like, are they ready to fly? Will they be able to navigate through the air on their own? Or do they need to come back to the ground? <laughs> and you, yeah. You know what flying is actually, I think? And it's just like a, uh... This is a little tricky because when I say this, the word I'm using is such a common word that people interpret in a hundred ways. But for me, if I were to say, you know, we've talked about over the weeks, like, okay, what does that really mean for us, right? Like to become a, a, um, the, the caterpillar, the metamorphosis to a butterfly, what does that really mean? Um, and there were senses in which it referred to fear of becoming an entrepreneur, fear of uh, you know, changing and stuff like that. I do think all of that is covered by love. I think that's what it means when it says, like, you were born to fly. I truly believe, as messed up as I am as an individual and as, as much as I fall short, I truly believe that that's what it is. Like, when it says, you were born to fly, it is saying, symbolically and spiritually, you were born to be fearless, 
which is love. When there's not fear, there's love, right? Like little kids before they get afraid, right? They're just super loving and open and, uh, you know. I remember I, I said, I told you that story of like my mom walking down the street past a school and there was like little kids, like, you know, they're all lined up in front of the school and they were like waving at her, right? Yes, she, they don't know her, but they're like, hi. And then she went back to one of them like, oh, hey guys. And one of the kids leaves the line and runs up and hugs her, you know, like a five-year-old, right? Like, to return, you know, and to return almost to love, right? To not being afraid. Uh, that for me is what the, ch I guess at this point, since, you know, I've had all these challenges with my emotions, it's kind of like what the challenge of the book is. But the challenge is the truth, you know? Like the caterpillar is no longer a caterpillar, could never have stayed a caterpillar. It's impossible, must become a butterfly. It's your destiny. And I think that's a perfect place to to just drop the mic. Um, yeah, thank you, Michael, again. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everyone who tuned in, who is tuning in, who is watching the replay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you. And yes, this book is coming out very, very soon, hopefully by tonight. Everyone who has already um, gave us their emails by tapping the link in our bio and input their emails there will be getting a link to purchase their copy. And in the meantime, definitely, if you haven't already, tap the link in our bios. It's either going to be in the description box below or it will be in our Instagram bios to get you a copy and reserve it. Uh, this is, I'm really excited for it to be out. To really just share it you know share it with my family and and to sh further explore what we have in store with the butterfly book workshop you know the bookworm workshop and all of that stuff so i just want yeah. to say one last thing really quick so i, I guess I want to point out again how how beautifully esther illustrated this book right i mean the, the beautiful colors and everything and to say that it's a rhyming book, as we've talked about before. And on one hand, it's a book that if I was for me, I would get for my kid, right? There'd be like, you know, you could start reading, I mean, you could read it very early on from like two, three, four, five, six. But also, as Esther has wisely said, it's a book for all ages, you know? There are just some books like that, The Prince or The Tao of the Pooh, and now Scared to Be a Butterfly, which I know spiritual people actually will actually understand this, right? That it's, it's, it's both for that young mind and for the mind that can, it's almost like I would, uh, and last thing I'll say, I, I could almost imagine reading this as a child and then coming back to this years later and being like, oh, that's what they're saying. So thank you, Esther. Yeah, definitely. And I'm really excited. I know that we added a little journaling prompt. And that's just going to be super exciting. Like, I'm really hoping that people use this and they share it with us so that we can see yeah. a little bit of their story. Um, and we invite them. I mean, you might want to mention Esther, that we invite them to, like, even on the back. And like you said, with the journal prompt, we invite them to hear those type of stories. Because everywhere we go, basically, you know, we are, we're in Discord or we're in, you know, uh, YouTube. We're hearing people talk about like, yeah, I, I can associate with what you guys, and they're adults, <laughs> you know, I can associate with what you guys are talking about. That's how I feel, you know, whether it's Unstoppable Hustler in 2022 or, you know, uh, uh, other people who have just mentioned to us like, yeah, I have that trepidation of becoming my best self. And that's what the book is about and both ultimately what we would want to, to happen with the workshop and so on. Absolutely. So, yeah, definitely check it out. The journal prompts are like they're now in the front of the book. Um, and I think it's just going to be overall a really beautiful experience for anyone who is getting this book. So without further ado, you already know where you can find this book where you can get it um so thank you again for just taking some time with us and we will see you in the next video god willing god bless bye butterflies <laughs>